Hey, welcome back to Melted Daily Homes. Uh, we've got 17 for the day and it's Friday. So this is the, the roundup before the weekend and then we're back on Monday and we're gonna talk to you about everything that's happened right through that weekend. So let's get started. Okay, so we've got one here. Uh, it's listed as a one bedroom. I believe it's a one bedroom plus a den. There's no room sizes. Uh, the pictures look decent. I think it's the Hampton model, which is 893 square feet. It's an open concept design. The colors look good, finishes are nice, and it actually, it, it, it's it got what I believe is the best view, which is the south view off this building, and you've got your uh, your parkland behind here. So, looks good. I, I bet, I haven't checked this, but I, I bet that there's only been, if any, um, less than one hand of properties that have sold being a one bedroom or one plus den over $300,000. We've seen it at Green Life because we know that the values are higher there because the condo fees are less. But for this, for Maple Crossing, for similar buildings, even the ones down on Costigan Ambassador, uh, I don't believe we've seen it yet. Okay, so next up is 72 Commercial, 3399. Um, no garage, it's a smaller house, two bedroom plus one bathroom. And then you've got a uh, bit of an access to that you can see there's stairs that go up to the the top level here but it's essentially a bungalow uh, it's on a decent sized lot 66 by 94. i was in this home years ago when they had it for sale and um i don't know it's not nothing to write home about now it says development potential and so here's the thing here's 72 commercial uh good location getting close to main street there uh if you look at the uh the zoning, which you're gonna find is it's low density zoning, that light yellow color. This is all floodplain right here though. So all of this right here, all the little thatched area is floodplain. So uh, what are you gonna develop, right? <laughs> like the, it's, it's very, I mean, the town is very sticky about that. Um, oftentimes if you're gonna do anything, you might be able to build up, but probably not out. Um, you get into lot coverage. There's all kinds of things you want to look at. So uh, the price is going to attract people. I think that some of the restrictions on on building may cause uh, maybe cause the uh, the audience to narrow a bit, and uh, even the size of the house. It's a pretty small house too. So you know that might uh, that might affect their uh, their pool of buyers as well. We got a good deal here on Broussard at 369. It's a Manami village town. Uh, it's a basic version. I mean, there's one at 372.5, same model as this, looking better, but there's a good chance that one's gonna go into competition. This one is just simple, basic, and uh, it's really starting point for this point in time for a freehold home in Milton. This is it, this is where it all begins, pretty much. Now we've talked about this before, um, in Milton Daily Homes is that $400,000, 400,000, the benefit of doing something like that is you're doing what's called double bracketing. So you are, you're the first home in the 400 to 425 range and you're the last home in the 375 to 400. So if, if a buyer starts their search at 400, they can see your home. If they're capping their top search at 400, they can see your home. That's different than 399 or 405 where you would only be part of one of those price ranges. So uh, this one is a Brent Grove end. It's, or a moon seed end is the new name. It used to be called the Brent Grove. It's the only model that has an Eden area in the kitchen. You've got some upgraded uh, granite counters and some hardwood floors. And you've got hardwood upstairs too, which is nice. Bathroom counters. Uh, we have seen this model go over $400,000. This one, to me, looks like it's got a shot there at doing the same. Now, here's the thing. Hasselfeld and the next one are both purposefully underlisted. This one's 1275 square feet. It's called a Bolton model, and there's no pictures. So, I mean, there's a hot tub in the back. Uh, there is hardwood floors on the main level. Assuming this one is not a complete disaster inside, it will sell for more. So expect this one, even based on research, they could be up at 420, 425, 430. Um, there's no finished basement, but that's the kind of range. It's not gonna sell for $400,000. They're taking offers on this one on Monday, July 6th. 
Next one up is Cartwright Crescent, 425. Uh, even April, May, there were some of these that sold for this kind of price, not with a finished basement. The last few, the last models, the, the like one of the recent sales was 487 or something for this floor plan. It's a croft side, so you're getting a second bathroom upstairs, whereas the Hasselfeld one just had one bathroom upstairs. Uh, it's a little bit bigger. It's a, just under 100 square feet bigger. Landscaped yard. Um, you know, good floor plan here. Finished basement. From what I know about these models and what they're selling for, I would be surprised if it got a penny less than 450 And I'm rooting for them to do well because I'm putting the same model out, end unit, without a finished basement that looks really nice at 459 and sometime next week. So... If you don't want the the gong show this one's gonna probably be, then give us a call if you like the model and the floor plan. It's called the Madame Croft Side. It's funny, this one's looking for almost the same closing as Hasselfeld. They're both taking offers at the same time on Monday. Literally, Monday at seven o'clock, both of them. So let's see what happens, but I guarantee that both of them are, you're not getting them for asking price, I know that. 541 Rose Heath is 450, and there's been a lot of homes that have sold on Rose Heath 430, 440, 450. To me, this one is uh, probably one of the, I, I would say, one of the best ones I've seen in a very, very long time on the street. Um, just nice finishes, uh, great decor, clean, tidy model home, uh, well staged, well designed. Mature trees, and this is actually a, a more functional, usable, bigger backyard than some of the ones on Rose Heath. So, front to back, you don't want one of those Madame townhouses. Go to something like this, and uh, and you know you're going to be happy if you like a, a more mature neighborhood, uh, bigger trees. It's a great pick, great pick, great price. So Timmer Place is funny because in the description it says compare against all others. This is an argument for why those other ones uh, are going to sell for a lot more. So 452.9, you're 1370 square feet. You're almost the same size as a croft side. You're a little bit newer. You've got nice finishes here, but no finished basement, no landscaping in the backyard. And they're asking 450. So that gives you a sense. These guys are not in the game of trying to, you know, purposefully underlist, although there's a chance they could get more for this one. Uh, but I think that this is more indicative of the reality of this size of home and what it sells for. So here's the thing on Giddings, 559. Uh, it's linked only by the garage, 2,200 square feet. And um, decent finishes inside. We've got a very similar home to this one coming out. It's not quite as big. Uh, it's about 200 square feet less and uh, it's only a three bedroom. They're very large rooms with a huge ensuite, uh, but same kind of thing finishes, We're putting that one out at 550. So um, this one isn't bad. The thing is, is that it doesn't feel like a semi because of the nine foot ceilings, because of the overall size of the home. It's actually a pretty nice layout. It's one of the ones that, uh, that I look at as, hey, not too bad. If you're gonna be a semi, this is probably the upper end. As you start crossing up to 560, 570, people have a choice to not be in a semi. They can get detached in that range, maybe lose a couple hundred square feet, but they could still find a detached four bedroom, maybe you know right at that entry point at 560. But people have choices is what I'm trying to say when you get to this price point. When you're the best semi, you overlap into pretty decent detached. Now this one just listed, some of the girls in the office had a look at it. Uh, the overall feedback is that it's pretty small. Okay, so it doesn't look like it has a ton of space. It looks like you've just got the one main living area plus the kitchen. And then they said the uh, the black hardwood upstairs is, uh, is a little off-putting. There is a finished basement though, so if you do feel like the upstairs is a little bit small, you do have some extra living space there. And you've got a cost court built uh, 36 by 102 foot lot, which is about probably 15 feet deeper than most of the Mattamy ones. So there's a list, 17 properties. You can see the full list just down there. Uh, if you're going to be in town, reach out, uh, send us an email or a phone call, and we'll be here to help you whenever the time is right. That's what Daily Homes is all about. We're here 
uh, providing a lot of free information and, and uh, you know, with, with the hope that when the time is right, you give us a call and, uh, and we'll take good care of you. Okay, have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday with more Milton Daily Homes. Thanks for watching.